Now that we have had a look at the interface, let's take a look at how you would use Newtone with the FL Studio environment. There is no right way when working with Newtone. There are a variety of workflows, and I'm going to demonstrate one method that I find useful and will allow you to start using Newtone right away. For simplicity's sake, I'm starting with an empty project. The first thing I'll do is select a channel from FL Studio's mixer where I want my audio to be on. Next, I will insert the new tone plugin into the selected channel. With new tone loaded, I will now add an audio sample. In this demonstration, I'm going to browse for an audio sample from the FL Studio's browser window. Oh yeah. Once I have found a sample I like, I'll drag it into the Newtone editor. Oh yeah. Newtone will analyze the audio and place its results in the editor. You can see how each note is separated and placed across the editor based on the detected pitch of each note. Of course, you can also use the file open sample option to navigate and load a sample from elsewhere on your hard drive. Once the file is loaded, you can go ahead and make some edits to the audio. For the sake of demonstrating workflow, I'm going to go ahead and make some basic edits. We'll take a closer look at editing the audio in later videos. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Again for demonstration, I'm only going to perform some basic edits. Once you have the audio sounding the way you want, you'll need to get this audio into FL Studio. To do this, I'm going to use the drag selection option and drag the audio in its present form into the editor of the channel that I want this audio on. Now the audio is loaded as a sample on this channel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another option would be to drag it onto a track in the playlist editor as opposed to a channel. You can then disable or remove new tone once you have your audio in the project. However, I recommend just disabling it whenever you are not using it to edit any audio samples. Thus you can quickly go back to it if you want to further edit your audio. For example, I can go back into new tone, do some further editing, then again, use the drag selection to load the newly edited audio into the channel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can also select only a portion of the audio file and drag only the selected portion to a channel or playlist. In some situations, you may wish to edit an audio file while listening to your project at the same time. This can be done by simply clicking on the Enable Slave Playback to Host. Now not only will your audio sample begin playback when using Newtone's transport controls, but also FL Studio, yeah. thus allowing you to listen to your project with the loaded sample oh, together. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so, yeah. in this video, we took a look at one workflow method when using Newtone within FL Studio. In the next video, we'll start our look at editing your audio samples with some basic audio editing.